Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where today John and I are going to talk about something. What is that <laughs> going to be about, John? Let's see. It could, could be about Halloween candy. But you know what, Art? There's no candy left on the shelves. And it must be Halloween because all the Christmas decorations are up. You know something, John, you're beginning to sound like, because uh, I know you like automobiles, and we just did a whole thing on on nitro stuff that was coming out soon. But yeah. because you're a car kind of guy, and you don't seem to speak well of Halloween, I would call you a carmudgeon. Would that be? Well, that's a groaner, but you know what? We're of a certain age where well, you are, people you are expect really that. Stretching. I, I want you to know that we went to see our granddaughter uh uh as a, a as a gymnast and she goes about six or seven beats a year and last weekend we went to one in palm desert and it's and it's the second year in a row we've gone to it it's called a spooktacular so so anyway what, what what's going on with you in halloween I, they're all out of candy I, what how can you do this to me oh out of they're out of candy we we bought what? our candy early oh so. Oh, did you finish it? Are you out of the candy I, that's you bought? The that's exactly okay. the problem. And no, the do, you buy your, do you go to Costco and get uh, boatload size uh, uh, containers or? Yeah, we buy the extra large uh, grandpa package. Ah. Well, okay. Do you have, do you have any favorite uh, Halloween Actually, candy? Actually, like my favorite about? Halloween candy is somebody else eats it. Um. Uh, I actually, I'm one of those few people that like candy corn uh, when I was growing up. I, I, I don't eat much of that anymore because I'm trying yeah. to diet. Yeah. But candy corn actually, you know why? Because it's seasonal. Like uh, people like pumpkin spice drinks, which I never did around Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, uh, but I like the candy corn. It was, it was, se it was seasonal. And it's part of Halloween. And, you know, all of those bar humbug, Christmas bar humbugs who opine on Halloween and make nasty remarks about stuff. Anyway, I, um, I'm, a, I'm out of the closet. I am definitely a candy corn dude, if I ate it anymore. What about you? Good. If they had, sometimes after Halloween, you see shelves and shelves of candy that they didn't sell. That's the time to buy your candy. But unfortunately, you can't keep it for next Halloween. So what is your favorite candy? I like anything that comes in those little bite-sized packages that they make for Halloween. Oh, it doesn't Instead matter. Instead of the big you're, candy bars? Oh, I'll eat it all. You're non-sectarian. Basically, you're... <laughs> I, I'll i even, even eat a chocolate bunny on Halloween Ooh, if they well, had but it. That's, that's always been a favorite of yours. <laughs> So I, I, thought you were, for the chocolate I, I thought you were about to go rail on. It's Halloween, but they're out of Thanksgiving and Christmas stuff already, and uh, the lights are going up. When the light, the light, the Chris, holiday lights, Christmas lights primarily are going up. Probably in the right after Halloween, they don't wait for Thanksgiving anymore. No, it's almost like Thanksgiving doesn't count. It's just thrown in the middle of the Christmas season. Right. Yeah. So, okay, great. So, uh, did we ruin it? anything for anybody? If not, then we I failed. I think so. We, it, I hope we didn't burst anybody's bubble. So right. So anyway, for for everybody who goes out there, uh, uh, remember to uh, put the car in the garage and turn out the lights if you want people to think you're not home, and uh, you're just <laughs> so you don't uh, have to give out candy. Right. Uh, uh, I, I'm in a over fifty five community, so. Uh, we don't have much of a problem here. Yeah. Uh, we have like not only not much of a zero problem. Yeah, they don't they don't have to write anything. There's no kids here to go knock on doors. Uh, but your neighborhood, uh, well, actually, you have a fenced in. We gate. we go the the grandkids actually have to go to other neighborhoods because there's no no other kids living. There and no real access. I mean, you're you're in a, off a country road, and uh, most of the properties. Uh, they have gates with locks on them. And yeah, but if they, once no they get in, they have to walk a mile to get to the front door anyway. That's probably true. But mostly it's because there's no kids nearby. So right. 
they drive to a neighborhood. They drive to a nice, good cul-de-sac with lots of kids in it. That's that's usually where the candy is. And, and there it's a rating system, right, for which ones have the good candy? Yeah. You <laughs> never know. You never know. Okay, you so we know. actually... I, but, uh, Art, yeah. last, last comment here. Yeah. That is, please dress. Please dress up as something for Halloween. Because otherwise, people are going to say... Oh, don't go to that house. There's a scary old scary man guy. dressed up in there. Right. That's that's my plan. You got my plan 100%. I'm just going to come au natural, just the way I look. But I mean, yeah. not, not that kind okay. of au natural. Because that, that would really be scary. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. Thank you. Happy Halloween. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.